just that little rest area coming into McBride BC I'm gonna take a little walk about before the camping season starts here April it's uh, 21 up looking at a campsite that they have for sale it's uh, basically three bids ahead so <laughs> I'm sure one of the three will probably get it so but it's nice to come a look anyway let's see what we got over here This a little nature area. I don't know if it's even a maybe it's a park. Yeah, probably a park. It's like a happening in a little town. The lady at the campsite said uh, population of six hundred. Zebo. That's the information on the area. Take a look by the river. Low water right now, but apparently she fills right up. We get the full uh, melt happening. Oh, the snow coming down from the mountains. Oh, the water from the mountains when the snow melts. It's a nice, this is a very nice, beautiful area. Beautiful. Head up and uh, take a little spin through the town site or the town. So I think I'm gonna get a couple more hours drive in, heading back towards Christina Lake where I'm living at, because it's about eight and a half hours from here. to McBride. Like a nice little town. 600 people apparently. Oh, 
Scotia Bank, Home Hardware. Looks like it have everything a person needs. School. Train station being used for something. And that's about that for McBride, BC. Lumber yard, a few houses. And a big trailer park. Somebody getting rid of a mattress. Yeah, you can't get rid of the mattress that way, buddy. <laughs> oh boy. They probably didn't expect me to get him on camera. something community center Robinson Valley Recreation Center well, we got everything a community needs right I think I'll see if I can grab a room in the local motel no rush to get back. It's been kind of a long day already. It's about uh, uh, almost 4.30. Leave early in the morning and uh, make it back to Christina in about eight and a half hours. Lodge. 